digital romance TV. Uh, hi, I'm Michael Fiore. This is uh, Nora Blake. Today we're talking about the pros and the cons. There are cons of being a yes. hookup buddy of, a, of an FWB, a booty call. Friends with friends buddy. With, friends with boobs. Friends with. <laughs> um, let's go with the pros first. What are the pros of having a being a hookup buddy, being somebody's hookup buddy? Uh, sex whenever you want it. Sex, well, almost every time you want it. Sure. But frequent sex with. Frequent uh, sex. Yeah, you can actually with just, somebody like, that you trust. Sex at the push just, of a button. Sure. As it were. Push uh, button sex. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a level of um, uh, you know, spontaneity and hotness to the sex because it's not committed in a way. Sure. Because you're not like you know in a but relationship. But it's still not with having somebody. to like go to a bar and find somebody every yeah. time you want to have sex. You've got somebody yeah. who you know you're compatible with. Yep. Who you know like you're you know, the you're sex clean is or whatever else. That the sex is pretty good. The or... sex, you know, it's like going to McDonald's. You know, you know you're going to get at least a decent hamburger. Or Starbucks every time, and you might get yeah. a great hamburger maybe if something happened where McDonald's became good. But you know, in general, <laughs> it's going to be pretty decent. Um, there's a, there's a fun aspect to it of like being almost being just like used in a way for sex where it's like it's not about the emotion it's not er, you're not earning the sex yeah. in that way it's really just you're just having fun together yeah and that can be that um, you know you can actually you don't have to worry about putting a ton of time into it every single sure. time or you know like if you have a job and friends and things like that you can have all of that and have sex um, the downsides though. It's a McDonald's hamburger. It's a every McDonald's time. hamburger every time. There's going to be necessarily a certain level of emotional divide that goes on when you're having the friends with benefits sex. I've had friends with benefits sex in the past so quite a few I times. I have as well, yeah. And it's been great. I'm still friends with uh, some of the people that I've, I've done that with in the past. Um, but, you know, to protect yourself, you don't give yourself completely over to yep. what's going on there. You don't find yourself getting to that deeper level of what's going on. On the upside, actually, a lot of people, when they're having sex with a friends with benefits kind of situation, can explore fantasies they would have a harder time exploring with somebody they were actually coupled with or partnered with. Sure. Right? Because you're not as worried about what this person thinks. You're not, it doesn't feel as awkward. And you can see that person as just a sexual being in a way that you can't necessarily with somebody who you're, like, in a relationship with. Yeah. Um, other downsides, though, is that people get hurt um, often. And when you're getting into an FWB relationship, uh, one of you is probably going to get hurt eventually in some way or another, no matter how much you say you're not going to. And I'm not, saying, I'm not one of those people that says, well, that never works, because it does work for a lot of people. But you have to understand that emotion, the feels are going to get in the way for somebody eventually. The feels are going to get in the way for somebody. And it can be devastating in a lot of ways, especially when either the man or the woman um, says, well, I want more, and if the other person says, I don't. Yeah. Because you made an agreement that it was just going to be sex, yep. and it was not going to be a relationship. And when you're changing that, it can be very, very difficult, and it can feel like a massive rejection, even though the other person is just living up to what they said in the first place. Yep. So that's that. I think it can also... Some people would say that having that kind of relationship would be detrimental to your pursuit of something more serious out in the real world. It can if you let it distract you from actually like continuing to date and doing that, which it's assuming you're not doing that, right? Yeah. You're probably... If you put all your eggs in that basket, then yeah. you're not going to have any eggs I mean, most of the anymore. time when that's happening, it's because you've given up in some way on or put on hold your search for... Going Mr. Partner. or Mrs. Right. Right. Or wrong. Like you're not dating actively. Yeah. You don't, you're kind of in a funk. You don't want to be dating. So somebody is there. It can also They're... ruin sex for you with the people that you're dating on the real world because uh -huh. you're just like, well, this isn't as good as what I'm having with this other person. What's going right. on? Um, and also, but, but conversely though, I mean, sometimes having a friend with benefit kind of thing on the side can make dating easier. It can mean that you're not just like, you're not falling for the same stuff that you would in the past because sure. you might meet somebody who you just find physically attractive and in the past, without having this other sexual outlet, you might trick yourself into thinking they're perfect or thinking they're right for you when because you're actually getting laid, that wouldn't happen in this case. So it can actually be a, quite a positive thing uh, up until that time when you finally have to say, well, I met somebody. And I've, I've had this happen before. I, when I've um, been single, I've had one or two women I was having, you know, friends with benefits kind of sex with, and then met somebody and said, well, I'm, I'm, I can't do this anymore. Right. And that can be painful or it can be okay. So um, we're not the people that are going to tell you never have that kind of relationship. It can be fine. It can be good as long as you are honest about what you're both yeah, looking for. Yeah, as long for. as everybody's on the same page. Yeah, but it's not going to destroy you as a human being or anything like that. It's not going to cloud your heart so you can't love anybody else. As long as everyone's on the same page and you can be honest, and as long as you both understand that 
when somebody has the feels, you gotta have a conversation about it and probably, and probably end what you're doing at that point. Yeah. We've had plenty of people have asked, how do you turn a friends with benefits thing into a quote unquote real relationship? And the answer usually is stop sleeping together. Yeah. Um, you have to take that off the table so that you're almost forced to hang out and get to know each other a little bit better in a different context. So uh, hopefully that was a uh, good answer for you. If you have a story about a awesome or awful friends with benefits experience, I'm sure there'll be people that will say like, oh, it's the worst thing ever, blah, blah, blah. He was using me for sex. Well, that was the deal, wasn't it? Um, leave it below and then go to digitalromance.tv for more videos, bye. If you've got a cell phone in your pocket or purse right now, then you've got everything you need to create incredible romance and passion with the man or woman in your life at the push of a button. Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash TRB to see Michael Fiore make an entire audience of women in the Rachel Ray show swoon and learn how to use tiny little text messages to have the relationship of your dreams.